Hey Grace, Julie Dirks here, your, your Grace Kids director, and it's my turn to do Staff Journal this week, so I'm making a quick video. Um, I wanted to share with you a little bit of the heart and the vision we have for family worship, um, specifically over the summer during our Sunday school break. Um, as you know, kids kindergarten through high school, your Sunday school classes are off for the summer. Um, we'll be starting back up August 12th. Um, and uh, one added benefit to this is that we can honor our weekly volunteers, give them a chance to have a break and relax so they can come back ready and refreshed to serve with us again in the fall. And we've heard from them that they really appreciate that. And so we're glad that we can honor them that way. But really the bigger picture is um, that we see value in families worshiping together on Sunday mornings and generations being together to worship and learn alongside each other and in kids finding their place uh, in our church very early. Um, we want to balance between really specific targeted ministry um, for kids and youth and adults like Sunday School or Awana or Igniter or adult classes. Um, with this corporate, um, whole body, multi-generational unity that happens when we're all together on Sunday mornings. Um, and part of that's coming from some recent research we've been reading about how kids are leaving the church when they go out on their own after high school. And some of that comes from um, these great um, programs that we have for kids, um, so targeted um, for their own needs uh, but yet so separate from what adults are doing that they have a hard time finding their place um, when they become an adult. Um, and uh, that the sooner that they can engage and actively participate in the life of the body, the more apt they are to stay through um, their adult years. And so we see value in starting that now and coming alongside and partnering with families and parents to help them lead their kids in this way um, spiritually. Um, so what we want to do is um, we don't want you to see this as a deterrent to attending over the summer. We know not every family this is going to work for. We get that. Um, but we want you to see that as an opportunity and challenge you to embrace this um, and to find the value in having your kids in there to experience and watch the other people around them worshiping and learning. And you'll be surprised what they can pick up. And we know they're not going to always be quiet or still, they're not probably always going to be super excited about it. I can attest to that with my own daughter. Um, but there is so much value in them seeing that they are the church of now and not just the church of the future, um, helping them find their place and engage in the body um, very early on. Um, so we would encourage you to take that challenge and hope that it becomes a regular part of what you do and wouldn't have to stop when Sunday school starts back up August 12th. Um, those kids can actively be a part of what we're doing in our church. Um, you're going to find these in the seats, and there are some tips here for how you can help your kids participate and engage on Sunday mornings, and some tips for people who don't maybe have little ones sitting with them um, about how you can help and support those around you who might have some wiggly little ones with them. So, church, let's worship together, all ages. Um, let's teach our kids to love God love people and lead others to do the same.